Hello everyone, it is your Ascension buddy Jaggernaut here, hanging out today, playing some more Ark Survival Evolved on our Ascension series. I'm feeling much better, still a little bit sick, so my voice might not make it the whole episode. We'll have to deal with that when it comes to it. But, we are here again on Aberration, getting ready to do some more crazy stuff. I have been busy breeding up a bunch of these Megalosaurs, you know, from uh, Carol Danvers and Baby Daddy. I think that's, yeah, Baby Daddy and Carol Danvers. <laughs> you have a mutation already? Oh, dude, look at that black belly. I think that's what it is. That's nice. I like that. You're cool. You're cool. So I've been breeding up a bunch of them, getting prepared for when we go take on Rockwell, because probably within the next three episodes, if today is successful, then um, it'll, because today we're going to do something, and then next time we're going to do one more thing, and then after that, I think we're going to take on Rockwell. So we could be, this. Uh, we could be going to extinction here pretty soon, which is crazy, because I have very min minimal time on extinction. Um, I've been spending a bit of time, as you can see, I've upgraded the base a little bit. It's so stinking expensive, and it's actually not the element that is the problem. <laughs> it's like the crystal and the metal and stuff like that. So this is probably as far as we're going to get with that. And um, I think that's I think that's it. We talked about this. We talked about raising those guys up. I think I have everything that I need. I've got food, water. I'm going to bring a little bit extra of these because those are my weakest things. Like, this has a durability of 1,200. This has a durability of 150. <laughs> yeah. If we're going to be spending time down in the, the radiation zone, we're going to need it. And then our little uh, shine horn has been... Oh, no. My voice is already starting to go. Can you hear it? It's only been two minutes. Crap. Anyways. What we're going to do today... Oh, no. That's what we needed to talk about. There was one more thing. Halt. Stop. Turn around. Go back home. So, in addition to the um, artifacts, we also need a whole bunch of the apex drops. And I went around, it took me probably an hour and a half to actually find this alpha basilisk. And I knew exactly where it was. Well, not exactly. But this guy, remember how, I think we talked about this when we first picked up the transmitter. These, these coordinates, I guess that's not a good example. These coordinates only apply to X and Y, not Z. So the Alpha Basilisk was like over here somewhere and it was like, yeah, those are the coordinates. But I had no idea how high up or down low it was. So <laughs> it took me so long to finally find it and kill it. But killing it was easy, man. Little Swifty, he's the best. Are you a boy or a girl, Swifty? You, you, he's the best. So we still need, we got all that. And we have Carcanus Claw, I don't remember where we got that. Alpha King, Reaper Barb, that was when we were grinding up on the surface. Uh, we have the Basilisk Scale, and we have a lot of Rock Drake Feathers. And then all we need left is Nameless Venom, the two artifacts, one of which we'll get today, and the Reaper Pheromone Gland. So today we're going to try and get the Pheromone Gland because we can get Nameless Venom pretty easy, or at least close by. Um, we're going to go down into the red zone because we're going to head to the element corridor, element land. I don't know what it's called. I can't remember which cave it's called. It's the one in the red zone. There's a green zone, a blue zone, and a red zone cave. And we're going to go to the red zone. And like I said, I'm not very good at these caves, especially how to find them. Especially because there's the... You, got, you have to be concerned about Z because you can find the coordinates all day long on the internet right but it's that Z coordinate that you can't monitor because the GPS doesn't say anything why didn't they why why didn't they implement a, a GPS an aberrant version of the GPS that could they could totally calculate your Z position I don't know but I did a little bit of testing in single player to try and find my way around so I'd actually have time to do this because even though we're close to getting to extinction, it very well could be several weeks before we actually get there. As you've noticed, I I haven't been posting every day because I got a new job and I've been sick. Holy cow, I was so sick earlier this week. Sickest I've been in a really long time. But uh, anyways, <clears throat> let us go ahead and move along here. I did a little bit of practicing, like I said. So hopefully I don't make any wrong turns, which I think we are already maybe made a wrong turn I don't know I this is and this is probably one of the reasons why I haven't spent a lot of time in aberration because this is a good portion of the map as you could tell uh let me zoom in here as you could tell I haven't even 
Oh, mercy sakes, man alive. What is going on? Excuse you all. Get out of here. As you can tell, I haven't even explored a large portion of the map. Like, I don't even know what's over here. And to be honest, after my time exploring and after today, I may not even want to. <laughs> because it's mostly all just a bunch of this. This is about it. Now that's cool. That looks cool. Yeah, I like that. And I think we're going the wrong way. Oh, I don't remember exactly how to get there. But also over here, once we kind of get moving along. Oh, no. We can find some reapers. I think that's a reaper queen right there. A uh, reaper queen? Reaper queen. Oh my gosh, there it is. It's right there. Holy cannoli. They are so large and they are so mean and they are not dying very easily. Okay, we did it. I got four pheromone glands. That's excellent. Did you know that you can tame reaper kings? You can't tame reaper queens. But um, you can't tame the ones on the surface. You actually have to be impregnated by the Reaper Queen. <laughs> now, I have never done it. I have watched other people do it. And to be honest, I have no real desire to attempt such things. Like, that does not sound like something I actually want to attempt. Was that one right there? I don't know. Because A, that's a pain in the butt and it takes a long time. Uh, I think we are going the right way. I think I recognize these trees. Uh, and B, the rock drake is just more powerful. I like. I think I've mentioned this before with the Scorched Earth series, but we may. I have seen people. Are my graphics just wigging out? Why do those birds look? Why are their wings flapping so weird? Oh, there's another one. <sighs> I got to keep it easy with the, the scraping because it's gonna. It's not good for me. Come on, get it, oh gosh. Okay, so we have enough pheromone glands. That's perfect, that's all we needed. Now, which way did I want to go? Um. Is it up here? Am I already there? I might already be there, did I? I'm pretty sure I took a wrong turn. Can you climb, sir? Oh my word. Now this does look like something. Oh no, there's two of them. Please don't impregnate me with your spawn. Oh! Oh, there's so much clicking. I need a new mouse. The, the, my mouse is actually dying. Oh. Oh. So what you have to do is after you're impregnated and your the baby gestates in your own flesh. I don't think this is it. But we're going to explore it for a second anyways because I'm talking. Um, after it, it, oh no, this is to the surface. No, 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 no. It's daytime. We are not going onto the surface. I didn't know you could get to the surface from here. That's cool. After the baby gestates inside your own body and you get all swollen and prego. It bursts out of your chest. Apparently that's like Alien in the movies. I've never actually seen Alien because I'm I'm too much of a wuss. I don't I don't like scary movies. <laughs> uh, this is a scary game sometimes. Okay, that'll that'll tell you something. Crap! Now I am lost. No no no! I came from over here. So we're gonna keep coming over here. Uh, after it just it pops out of your body, okay, let me finish the thought here, you actually have to rub your body with those pheromones so that the baby thinks that you're its mama. Because if you don't have those, it'll try and kill you. Because this game is a terrible game. <laughs> Anyways. Okay. Um, we, I, think, I think this is the right path. I knew we had to cross the river, but apparently it was over here. So, we're going to keep on keeping on, and I'm going to rest my voice for a second and have a drink, and enjoy the rest of your time here in Aberration. Thank you for flying Swifty Airlines.
Okay, all my practice paid off. We are here. We're at the entrance. We're alive. It got kind of sketchy there once I started getting burned by acid, but uh, we made it. Uh, I do want to pop off and get this drop because I'm currently in the market for a really good or, I mean, even marginally better than what we currently can make, a Megalosaur saddle blueprint, which there are 17 green gems in there. Wow. Wow. Who over at Wildcard designed the loot tables? Because to be honest, that was terrible. All right. Okay, man, I was just looking at the uh, at the Reaper Queens. Those guys look so cool. We might have to get one and bring it into Rockwell with us or store it and keep it. I don't know. I'm so... The next... Going into um, Extinction, where we'll have access to everything immediately, it's going to be weird. You know, we'll have this Rock Drake as soon as we... Uh, like, as soon as we spawn on the next map. Which will be totally OP. Because we're not going to go through that scared portion where we just... Okay, well, I'm kind of scared now. We won't go through that scared portion where we are naked and alone. Wowee, sir. You got a lot of crap. Okay, don't drop those. That would be terrible. I can't even imagine if I had dropped those. I would be bummed out. Okay. Let's do this. I hope that's not too obnoxious. Oh my gosh! This has already gone poorly. <laughs> All right. So we've mentioned in the past in other caves that caves are difficult, mostly because I have too many dinosaurs. And look at this. This I'm gonna go ahead and turn off just to preserve some frames and prevent screen spam. Cause look. <laughs> Look at that. What is with all of these dinosaurs right here, man? What is with all of these dinosaurs? And that's one of the things is that this this cave already has a high concentration of dinosaurs, like per square foot. I don't know how you'd even measure that. But then again, then I have to go in with my settings and like double it. So yeah, this cave would be, it would be impossible on foot. Like how you would do it on foot, I don't know. Because you can't have light pets because the seekers come after you. And they're tif difficult to kill, and you can't have no light pet because then the uh, the nameless come after you. And then there's megalosaur everywhere, and freaking dagub arthropods, arthropods, man, and they would kill you too. Um, I need to get. I don't want to be in this back road. We need to get out into the open area so my guy can fly and spread his wings, his arms, and glide. Is this the open area? I'm lost already. I did so much practicing and I'm lost. I got too caught up in killing everything. Okay, this is where we gotta be. We actually need to, like, go up there. I think so. Let's turn that back on. Oh my word, we gotta drop everything again already. Wow, we got two levels? I thought this guy was already max level, so... We're gonna go ahead and put it into melee damage! We got so much melee damage, this guy's amazing. I love it. He makes the game a lot easier for me because I don't have any time. I appreciate that. I'm sorry if it makes it, if it ruins the game for you because. Oh gosh, what happened? What just happened? Take it easy, big guy. Yeah, these Seekers look really weird. They look super claymation y, man. I don't know weird so I'm pretty sure we're almost done what's the time frame we're, we're doing pretty good on time and this is basically the entire cave as far as I know it's just wandering around on these narrow paths with too many dinosaurs to fight Dude, that one was 150 oh dang <laughs> oh man I'm trying to mine were like 140 mine were pretty good my megalosaur is pretty awesome so we're gonna try and jump up there ready here we go <gasps> You did it, pal. I'm so proud of you. Kill everything now. Kill it all. Oh. Okay. Now, this is the second hardest cave of the three, with the first one we did the easiest cave. Okay? The hardest cave is yet to come, and I think I'm going to try and find a Baryonyx. 
because it's got a lot of underwater. Or we could just, you know, try and take it with this guy. My guy can swim backwards, okay? My guy's awesome. He doesn't aggro basically every... Look, there it is! He doesn't aggro a anything. And he kills everything, although he tacks really slow, which causes me to click faster. I'm sorry. I apologize about my clicky mouse, okay? I've asked Santa or my wife. It, either one of those guys, if they bring me a new mouse, I'll be satisfied. Now, are we safe? Is it secret? I think we're good. Okay. This thing is cool looking. Simple, but cool. What do you got in here? Just the artifact. I can build stuff in here? What? That's crazy. Good thing I have S+. Plus. Can you imagine having to crawl your way in here? Carrying all that weight? No, thank you. What level are you, little feather light? Only level 50? No big deal. So we're going to go ahead and get this out. And we're going to hurry and dump it in here. And I'm going to dump these in here too, just in case they, I die a horrible death. How's my armor doing? This is doing well. It's 137, 156. Uh, okay. We're doing pretty good. I'm going to wait here for one more. Is everything dead? I don't know what's over there. There's a lot of crystals, which I desperately need. Oh, oh I don't want to even walk over there. I'm going to freaking die. Okay, that wasn't too long. It was only like, I don't know, 45 seconds? <laughs> I barely had time to play around with my next move. But this is what we're going to do, I think. Uh, let's go ahead and get you to... Yeah. Oh, yeah. You, there's no worry about falling off when you've got this guy. Excellent. What I think we're going to do, I don't think it really matters, but just because I can, we're going to go invisible for the trip home. <laughs> As if there was anyone who would try and contest us. Now all we got to do is glide. Glide! Oh, my gosh. Glide home. And I, we might be able to make it all the way. No, we can't. We're close, but we can't. We're invisible. Oh, no, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no, please don't. Oh, okay, let's go ahead and jump over here. All right, doing a great job. Man, this guy is so awesome. I'm so excited that we're going to be able to take him to extinction with us and use him in extinction. I think he's going to be a huge help in extinction. Uh, it's going to be awesome. But that's it. That's the cave of the element stream... Oh, uh, what you call it? I don't, I don't even know. Um, now I have to find my way out of here, and I will see you all back at home. And we're gonna call it a, a day because I'm freaking tired, and you can hear it in my voice already. Even though I had some dinner and I drank some honey, yeah, I just, I just gobbled the honey up straight. You know, I just ate it because I thought it would help. But uh, we're gonna call it. Thank you so much for coming to hang out, you guys. I hope you enjoyed the episode. I hope you've been enjoying Aberration. We are nearing the close of this saga. And, uh, yeah, super excited to be here. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. And you guys keep surviving. <laughs> <laughs>